Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial you'll learn how to create this fun and playful 8-bit retro pixel effect. I've already added a background layer with a gradient ramp and some round and shape layers. The pixel effect itself is made by a few effects and an exact grid. First of all, we make the grid visible in the preview window down here by clicking on this little crosshair symbol or up here in the view menu by choosing grid. And we activate snap to grid. Then we zoom into the upper left corner of the preview window quite a bit. One square of that grid will be one pixel of our effect. Therefore we create a rectangular shape with a rectangle tool which has exactly the size of one pixel of that grid. No stroke. We press option while clicking on the fill button until we see the radial gradient symbol. Then we click on it once more without option and open the color menu. And adjust the gradient. Something like that. We turn the green color into black. Let's name the layer pixel. We reduce the opacity to 25%. So this is one pixel. It is bright in the middle and slightly darkens out towards the edges. To easily recreate that for all pixels, we search for the CC Repertile effect and drag it to the effect window on the left. Then we expand right, 1920, and we expand down, 1080. Here we go. Each pixel now has this little gradient. Just curious, did you ever use CC Repertoire in your work before? Let me know in the comments below. Now, we set the blending mode to linear burn for more contrast. Okay. Doesn't look perfect yet, so next we add an adjustment layer and name it Effects. Then we search for Mosaic and grab the one in Stylize, not in Animation Presets. This effect pixelates everything and basically turns the picture into low res. Now we need to adjust the blocks and make sure they exactly fit to the grid. It is 96 horizontal blocks and 54 vertical blocks. In order to see the result, we move the adjustment layer below the pixel layer. Looking much better. Then we add the posterize effect, which reduces the number of colors and creates this nice bending effect which we usually hate. But in this case it's looking great. The fewer levels there are, the more abrupt color changes we have in the color gradients. I'll leave it at 30 for now. This is the setup for a playful pixel look. By the way, these are my settings for the grid. Grid line every 80 pixels, subdivisions 4. I guess it's the standard settings. You can change them in the top left menu. On the left side, I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and ring the bell if you want to know exactly when the next video is coming out. Thanks so much for watching. Hope that tutorial was somehow helpful. See you next time guys. Bye!